Ladies and gentlemen, fasten your seat belts and prepare your taste buds as we embark on a relentless journey through the kingdom of brews. Welcome to the realm of intoxicating flavors and head-banging beer reviews. What's up, everybody? It's the Ginger Yeti, and I got another gift beer. So the beer I have for you today is Biscuit and Cream. And this is from Beauregard Brasserie Distillery. I believe I that's what those words say. Uh, this is a beer from Montreal, Quebec, and everything on the can is written in French, so I really can't read it too well. Other than it says it's 10.2% alcohol, and the temperature to be served is 6 to 8 degrees Celsius. This might be a little colder than that, but we'll get into it anyways. Here's a picture of the can for you. And now this beer was a gift from my friend Albert. Albert, really appreciate it. You always come through with just solid, amazing beers. Thank you again for this beer and all the beers you've given me over the years. Really appreciate that. I look forward to getting into this. Now, when I was looking this beer up, there was a little blurb on untapped, and I was able to translate it through the power of Google Translate. So hopefully the translation is correct. But it says... Brewed with broken pieces of the famous cookies and creams with chocolate and toasted flavors. This high alcohol dessert stout is a good comforting snack. Conditioned on vanilla, the aromas of black malts mingle with the sweetness of residual sugar, lactose, and vanilla. That sounds absolutely delicious. I wonder if they are kind of referencing Oreos. I mean, that kind of sounds like a description of Oreos to me. And if this is kind of what that beer is supposed to be, that'll be amazing. Because this brewery has knocked it out of the park with every beer I've had from him so far. It's pretty, it seems like it's a pretty small, not very widely distributed brewery, but every beer I've had from them has just been outstanding. Uh, on Untapped, it gets a 3.91 with 141 check-ins. Nothing on Beer Advocate. And if the brewery watch, watches this video, I hope I'm using proper glassware to, to sample this beer. And that is just pouring out a jet black dark yeah that's jet black and dark lots of lots of carbonation on the original pour there i mean you can't see through that at all that's a 40 on the srms for sure a nice khaki brown head uh i'll get the flashlight out why not yeah there's very little light coming through that but actually when you hit it with the flashlight it's kind of got some some brown tones to it but that's just pitch black I mean, get that flashlight off there. That's as dark as dark can be, basically. So I didn't get any big smells off the initial shakluk. Stealing that word from Alan from One Flight Down. I love that word. But we'll go in for a sniff. A little bit of a chocolate on the nose. But not much. There's really not a whole lot of, of scent coming off this beer. Again, I probably should have let this beer sit out for a little bit. So maybe after I uh, go through this, I'll let it sit for a little while and come back. Don't know how quickly it'll warm up. I'm trying to warm it up a little bit with my hands. But I'll take a little taste of it now. And then maybe I'll let it sit for like 15, 20 minutes and come back and... uh Try it again. I think that's what I'll do. There's much carbonation that was in that when I originally poured it. Don't get in a mouthfeel. It's a big mouthfeel. I mean, I mean, that's like big bodied beer. Some nice viscousness to it. Get some nice chocolatiness to it. Not picking up any vanilla, really. But again, I think this beer is a little too cold. I should have pulled it out of the fridge earlier. So what I'm going to do is, because I want to give this beer a proper review, I'm going to let this beer sit for about 20, 30 minutes. And we'll come back into it and see if the flavors have opened up. So, 
Be patient. We'll be right back. And we're back. So I've let this beer sit out for probably 20 minutes now, we'll warm up some. Go back into it, see how it's changed. There's still not very much in the nose, but you are getting some more of that chocolatey, kind of malty chocolatey, roasty notes in the nose. And let's see if it's changed flavor. Yeah, more of the chocolate's coming out now, some of that vanilla. That's almost, I don't know if creamy is the right word to use, but it's kind of a creamy, nice body. It does have a little bit of viscous body, but it's, it's like a creamy almost body. Um, nice chocolate notes, some vanilla in there. It's a really well done beer. Definitely needed to warm up a little bit. It's probably still not warm enough, but this is an excellent beer. Big horns up for me. Uh, Beauregard, you've knocked it out of the park again. You got to keep doing what you're doing. You're making phenomenal beers. Albert, thank you so much. Always appreciate it. Hopefully I get to uh, meet up with you sometime this year. Uh, if not uh, in May, then maybe in the fall we'll see each other. Really appreciate it. Thank you very much. And as always, embrace the adventure. Man, that's just a nice, creamy, chocolatey, nice beer. That is really good. Wish I could find these beers down here by me. Just great beer. <laughs>